Hey guys, it's Matt from UFP Rentals. Uh, today I want to do a short instructional video on how to connect your Rainbow Quasar up to the AKS wireless system. So the first thing we have to do is we need to come to your Quasar and you need to set up the settings here. So if we go uh, to our config menu here and the first thing we have is our DMX address, we'll leave that at one. Then we'll set up our DMX profile. There's a bunch of different profiles already set up in the, the light. I happen to like profile nine because it gives me HSI control, color temperature, and effects. So we'll set that. And then lead follow is set to off, and then we make sure that wireless is set to on. That's all we need to do with the light. Next, to set up the AKS wireless system. If you ever forget, they've conveniently put the directions on the side, so you can always refer to that. Um, but all we need to do here is push and hold the power button, turn that on. It'll take just a second to load. Once the Wi-Fi light is turned on, then the system is ready to go. Now the only thing we need to do is push the RF link button, and you'll notice that the light here will blink, and it will blink the light on the Rainbow Quasar. Once that has linked, we'll see a DMX address and then a Wi-Fi or the strength of the, the Lumen radio signal which is good strength. So we're connected, ready to go on there. Next thing we need to do is to set up our iPad. So if you go into settings now, the AKS system has created its own Wi-Fi network, this Rat Pack AKS. So we'll go ahead and connect to Rat Pack AKS. Then we go into Luminaire. We've created a new project that's currently blank. All we need to do is hit the Add button, go to Add DMX Fixture, We'll select a profile, there we go, and we'll scroll down to Quasar Science, and you'll see they've already had added uh, Rainbow RGBX profiles. We chose profile nine, so we'll add that, and DMX channel one, we hit done, and now we're ready to go. So now we've got our HSI, our uh, intensity slider here. We've got color temperature here. Um, we can add color. So blue, red, green, whatever color you want. And we've got plus and minus green control slider that we can add and remove. We've got an effect slider, which is why I like profile nine, because I can set this to different effects. There's our cop car, and then you can even change the effects rate, so how quickly it blinks. Um, you've also got a color temperature so you can control the color temperature from this fader, but you can also control the color temperature from here where it actually tells you the current color temperature. So there's 3200 Kelvin tungsten, or we can set it up to 5600 Kelvin and have it set to daylight. So super easy to set up. We've got another fixture here that's also connected. So if we want to add another one, we just say add DMX fixture, select a profile, Quasar Science, profile nine, DMX, we already set this up to DMX channel nine, the next available channel. And now we've got another set, so now we've got two sets of, of faders, sliders here, and now we can control this light as well. So that's how easy it is.